In this video, we are going over how to use Mono Godot with Visual Studio Code and getting all the code completion and text highlighting in it. This is mainly for people working in Ubuntu 22.04, but the general idea is the same for most other Ubuntus and most other operating systems. The first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to install Godot onto the computer. We're going to go to the Godot official website going to go to the download button and I'm going to be getting the mono version 64-bit. It's going to be downloading a zip. Okay, once it has finished downloading we are going to go to your downloads folder and we're going to open it up and extract the zip. So I'm going to do that on Ubuntu, it's a little different. And once we have that Close, close, and we'll have an extracted file. Now, um, inside of it, I'm going to open it, double click on the executable, and it's instantly going to open up Godot. And um, this should work with GD script if that's all you want to do, right? So that's done. Um, but what we're going to be doing is C sharp. So I'm going to set up a project, and we are going to just get the basics going on it and then we are going to get the rest of CSARP set up. So I'm going to name it test, go browse, go to go documents, go to the test. Okay, so creating a project, and we're just gonna create a really basic 2D scene and save it, right? And that's just to make sure everything is working well inside of Godot. So I'm going to minimize that, and now we're going to be doing the next step, right? Installing Mono. I'm going to go to Firefox, and I'm going to open up, and I'm going to be going to the Mono website. I'm going to be putting this in the description, just like every other thing. And what we're going to be doing from here is we're going to go to Downloads. And in my case, I'm on Linux, so I'm going to go to Ubuntu. And there is no 22.04, um, there is 20, and I haven't noticed an issue when I use this one. So this is what we're working with. So I'm gonna copy this, I'm gonna hit Control-Alt-T to open up my terminal, and then I'm going to paste. Now I'm gonna go here, and I'll hit Enter, type my password in. And that has connected. Now what this is, is it's a uh, repository for the um, Mono installation. Now I have to actually install it here. So I'm going to copy this command. I'm going to go back to the terminal. I'm going to right click and paste and enter. I'm going to hit yes. Okay, and this is going to take a little bit to install. So I'm going to skip. So, once Mono is installed, we're going to the next step, right? And what that's going to be is I'm going to go to the Ubuntu software store, and I'm going to install Visual Studio Code. So, let's open that up. And now we're on the store, we're going to go to VS Code. And I'm going to click on the first result and install it. And this is going to take a while again, so I'm going to cut. Now that Visual Studio has finished installing, we're going to go to Applications, and we're going to look it up. And the first thing we're going to do with it is we're going to install an ex the C Sharp extensor. This is mandatory to get the code completions, and it's the extension that lets us do that. So I'm going to wait for this guy to install. So now that we have the CSWIP extension, we're going to go to Godot, and we're going to make everything connect between Visual Studio Code and Godot. So to do that, we're going to go to Editor, and then Editor Settings. And at the very bottom of this general section, you're going to see Mono. And we're going to change things in both categories. So in the Editor, we're going to pick Visual Studio Code and that's going to just connect us to Visual Studio Code. And in the build tool, we're going to change this to MS Build Mono. 
And I've noticed the other one I get a lot of errors with. This just happened to fix it. So we're going to close this. And then we're going to go to our node that we made and we're going to attach a script. Um, so let's go ahead and make a CSARP script and I'll call it node.js. And it's automatically going to open that inside of Visual Studio Code. So I'll trust this. And now that we have everything hooked up, it's going to ask for one last thing. And that's going to be the uh, .NET SDK. Um, so in order to get the code completion, we're going to need to get this on our computer. I'm going to open this up, and there will also be a link in the description. Okay, and now we're at the SDK. We're going to just go through the process, right? So there's two ways of doing it for Ubuntu. Um, there is the snap method and the Ubuntu way. Now I'm going to be going with snap, um, in case you're working on a different type of Linux machine. It's a little more consistent. Um, and uh, yeah, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be getting the long-term support 6. Uh, 7 is broken as of right now, so we got to make sure that we get the correct one. Um, so um, we're going to go to the install the SDK category, and we're going to get this line over here. I'm going to copy that, go to my terminal, and paste. And then I'm going to change from 7.0 to 6.0. That way I'm getting the older long-term support. So that's going to download. So next we're going to get a couple more lines of code. So um, I'll take this one, put it in the terminal, paste, and uh, then we're going to go down to the certificate errors, and we're going to need these two. And lastly, we are going to need this line of code, or this command here, for troubles resolving.net. And I'm going to paste. Oh yeah, and for this one, it needs the sudo command. So I'm going to put the word sudo before and then paste, and then we're good. Okay, so we have .NET uh, yeah, we have .NET installed. Um, so what well, that's done, the next step is going to be going to Visual Studio, and uh, we are going to close it, go to Godot open it again, and we should see something happen. It will take a little bit to load. Yes, okay, so um, I'm going to get a little warning here saying some projects have trouble loading, please review the output. And if you go to the output, it'll tell you, um, OmniSype use modern net needs to be false because I'm using 6.0. And uh, 7.0 just doesn't work at the moment. And uh, yeah, we have to go ahead and fix this. So what we do is we're going to go to our extensions, the C-Sharp extension. We're going to right click on it. And then we're going to go to extension settings. And over here, I'm going to hit space. I'm going to start typing in use mod, modern net. And I'm going to uncheck that going to restart OmniSarp, then I'm going to go ahead and close Visual Studio Code, then I'm going to open it again, and this time it's going to be downloading a package, right? And once it has that package, it's going to be able to do the code completion. So um, let's go ahead and wait for that guy to load. And the way we can tell it works is you're going to see a little white text above your functions and classes telling you the references to them. That is, I can see the zero references, zero references, and uh, I can now say GD, and you're gonna see has a dropdown. And just for proof of concept, let's do gd.print. 
hello world. Save that up, and we're going to hit play. Going to select the current scene. Okay, and we got a build, and we have our print, hello world. So everything's working. That's pretty much the end of the video. Um, hope you have a good day. Bye.